everyone, welcome to the Chinese Lantern Tutorial. Before we begin, you'll need some materials. You'll need 3mm cord, some metal rings, and a few beads. We will first make the lantern and then end with the tassel. If at any point you are unfamiliar with the knots used in this tutorial, you can refer to the 50 Knots and Senates ebook or 50 Knots and Senates tutorial on Bochi Knot Macrame's YouTube channel. And with that, let's begin! Starting with a 7.5 centimeter metal ring, we will take 12 cords at 180 centimeters long each and attach each one onto the ring using a lark's head knot. Keep going until you have all 12 cords attached onto the ring. Once all 12 cords are attached onto the ring, turn the pattern upside down and then set it aside. And we will take 3 of the 185 centimeter cords and fold each one of them in half and make a triple loop knot. Placing all three cords folded in half on the loop ends together, we will take the far left cord and the far right cord as working cords to make a square knot. Pull on the inner cords to make the loops smaller. Then in between two groups of three Lark's head knots, attach the notch onto the ring using double half inch knots with all the vertical cords as working cords. Starting with the far right cord, attach it onto the ring using a double half inch knot. Continue with the remaining cords to the left. Once all the vertical cords have been attached onto the ring, then the triple loop mount knot is complete. Thank you. 
And now the triple loop mount knot is complete. Repeat this pattern with the remaining 185 centimeter cords by attaching three more triple loop mount knots in between the groups of lark's head knots. Once all four triple loop mount knots have been made, we will now make a horizontal row of double half inch knots right underneath the ring. Taking a strand of cord 45 centimeters long, we will use that as the anchor cord for the row of double half hitch knots. Starting with any of the vertical cords, make a double half hitch knot onto the anchor cord, leaving a few centimeters of space at the end of the cord before you make your first double half hitch knot. Keep going around the ring until you have reached and completed the second last vertical cord. There should be one vertical cord remaining that we will attach onto the anchor cord. But this time we will cross the anchor cord ends one on top of the other and then we will Take the vertical cord and make a double half hitch knot on top of both cords. Pull on both anchor cord ends to tighten the knot. There should be one anchor cord end at the top. We will push that cord end through a hole in between the double half hitch knots so that it is hanging downwards. We will now make an alternating square knot picot pattern. Taking eight cords underneath a triple loop mount knot, start by making two adjacent square knots.
Make an alternating square knot with the middle four cords. Make another two adjacent square knots underneath, starting with the left, making sure that we keep the right cord a little loose to form a loop on the left. Do the same thing on the right side, keeping the far right cord a little more loose to form a loop. Repeat this pattern two more times downwards. There should be a total of three loops on both sides. Once this pattern is complete, take the next eight cords on the right side and complete the same pattern. And then continue around the ring until you have a total of six of these alternating square knot pico patterns. Using another 45 centimeter strand of cord as the anchor cord, make another horizontal row of double half hitch knots right underneath the square knot patterns. So leaving a few centimeters of space at the one end, start with one square knot pattern and attach all the vertical cords onto the anchor cord using double half inch knots.
Then continue with the next set of vertical cords to the right by attaching them onto the anchor cord using double half inch knots. Continue this pattern until all the vertical cords, with the exception of the last vertical cord, are attached onto the anchor cord using double half inch knots. We will attach the very last vertical cord onto both anchor cord ends again with a double half inch knot. Pull on the anchor cord ends to tighten the knot. Tuck the bottom cord end with the other vertical cords and then push the top cord end through to the back. Then, in between two of the square knot patterns from above, taking four cords on each side, we will continue with another alternating square knot pico pattern. This time we will stop after two loops on both sides.
Continue with this pattern on all remaining sides for a total of 6 alternating square knot picot patterns. Once all the square knot patterns are complete, we will turn the pattern inside out and we will tie a double overhand knot with the two anchor cords from this horizontal double half hitch knot row from above. Repeat the same with the two cord ends from the top horizontal double half hitch knot row. Taking the 12 centimeter ring, attach all vertical cords onto the ring using double half hitch knots. One section at a time, place the cords inside the ring and attach them one by one. Continue until all vertical cords are attached onto the ring, spacing out each section evenly. 